Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and today we are going to solve the MCQs related to medical colleges admission tests. The first topic of our syllabus is classification of viruses. So here we will solve the MCQs related to the classification of viruses. First MCQ related to this topic is on cultivation of virus. So for virus culture or cultivation, how many days incubated fertile eggs are required? The question here is that before going to cultivate or culture the virus on fertile eggs, how many days the eggs should be incubated before this virus culture? So the correct answer here is 7 to 12 days. It means that the eggs should be incubated for 7 to 12 days before inoculation of viruses in this eggs. So here we should explain the mechanism of virus culture. As we know that virus is obligate parasite, it cannot live without a living host or living cell. Unlike the bacteria or human or animal cells which can grow on non-living media, viruses do not grow on the non-living media because viruses lack biosynthetic machinery and enzymes for reproduction. And it is dependent upon the host cell for its biosynthetic machinery and enzymes for the reproduction and proliferation. Fertile egg is used because the embryonated stage is desired for the multiplication of viruses. The simple mechanism for viral culture is the eggs should be incubated for 7 to 12 days then after incubation of the eggs when it mitotically divides to form zygote and embryo these eggs are called embryonated chick eggs. The viruses are inoculated aseptically through the shell into the egg then the viruses uh, start proliferation in the egg. Again these eggs are incubated at 36 degrees centigrade for 2 to 3 days the viruses do multiplication in it and then the eggs are broken down to isolate and collect the viruses grown in it. So the correct answer is 7 to 12 days. Uh, the second question is which organization is assigned the responsibility of classification of newly discovered viruses? So he is asking about the organization, the biological society which is deputed to, to assign the taxonomic category, the classification so the given options are International Union of Biotechnology and Molecular Biology so it is not related to virology International Chamber of Commerce so it is related to business irrelevant International Committee for Taxonomy of Viruses so this is the correct answer that this is the organization which is responsible for taxonomy or classification of newly discovered viruses and the last is International Union of microbiological societies. So for your ease, I am going to write your abbreviations. Third question is that Baltimore classification is based upon, uh, as we have discussed in our previous lecture in Baltimore classification system, that the viruses are classified into seven classes by David Baltimore on the basis of messenger RNA synthesis of viruses. So the option is B on the basis of messenger RNA. So the Baltimore classification system is based upon the messenger RNA synthesis. Other options are DNA, proteins and shapes of viruses. So these are irrelevant and incorrect. The fourth question is class 3 of Baltimore classification system contains viruses with the first option is double standard DNA, second is single standard DNA, third is double standard RNA and fourth is negative sense single standard RNA. We have, as we have discussed the Baltimore classification system in our previous video, previous lecture, link of which is given below in the description box. Uh, for solving uh, classification related MCQs of viruses, you have to see my lecture on Baltimore classification system. The Baltimore classification system that was described or proposed by David Baltimore, he had created seven classes of viruses. The first class contained double standard DNA viruses, second class contained single standard DNA viruses, third class contained double standard RNA as he is asking the third class of viruses containing double standard RNA viruses. Fourth class of Baltimore classification system contained positive sense single standard RNA viruses, fifth class contained negative sense single standard RNA viruses. Sixth class comprised single standard RNA viruses, reverse transcription, while the seventh class comprised double standard 
DNA reverse transcription viruses. So here he is asking about the third class which is double stranded RNA viruses. The fifth question is infectious RNA particles without protein coat are called. Four options are given. The first one is prions, second is virions, third is virides and fourth is virucides. We should know about the differences between these particles. The prions, these are basically infectious proteins. These are the proteins are abnormal proteins created in the body which cause infection. So this is not RNA particle. Second are virions. These are normal viruses which contain the genome as well as protein coat. So here is asking about the RNA particles without protein coat. So this is also irrelevant and incorrect. Third is virides. Virides are the smaller viral particles which contain RNA. The single stranded RNA is contained in them without a protein coat or capsid. So this is the correct answer that the particles which contain RNA without protein coat. So these are the virides. These are single stranded RNA viruses without protein coat. Virucides are the uh, virucides are different entities because these contain RNA as genome in linear or circular form, but these uh, require the helper viruses for their replication and propagation. So these are called virucides which need helper viruses. Sixth and last question of our today's lecture is T2 phage is called. The options given are double stranded DNA phage single stranded DNA phage, double stranded RNA phage or single stranded RNA phage. This is not a conceptual question, rather it is a factual or fact based question which you have to memorize as such and the correct answer is option A. It means that T2 phage is also called double stranded DNA phage or T2 phage or T2 phage has double stranded DNA in its genome. So this was all about the classification system, the MCQs related to classification system of viruses. However, solution of more MCQs, you have to see my previous video on Baltimore classification system which is given in the description box. After watching that video, you will be able to solve all the MCQs related to the classification of viruses. Thanks for watching.